How's it going, everybody? Today, I want to share with you a truly inspiring video that my wife sent me. And honestly, I was surprised that it even aired on national news. So this event happened about a couple of weeks ago on, I'm not sure if it was Resurrection Sunday or on Good Friday, Passover. But things were happening on a Florida beach that week. Now, I don't have to explain too much. I'll show you the video and the video will clearly speak for itself. But what I want you guys to take from this is no matter how dark the world gets and we hear about wars and rumors of wars and crazy political noise, God is truly in control and there's a harvest happening. There is truly a harvest happening. God is good. So I'm going to go ahead and share this video with you guys, and I'll just let the video speak for itself. Performing baptisms on the beach. Let's bring in Jenny Weaver. She was among those performing baptisms on the beach. Jenny, it's great to have you on here. I was kind of reading your notes. You said there were 219 people that were signed up in Clearwater to get baptized. But then as you started doing it, there were people kind of tourists looking around and they were crying and they decided, you know what? I'm going to get baptized too. Tell us about what happened. Yeah, it was amazing. The scene there on the beach was absolutely surreal. We gathered with you know, just a, a group from online that said they were going to come down to the beach on Easter and worship and do some baptisms. And all of a sudden, as we gathered in the water, we sent our teams out to get in the water. My, myself, my husband were there. People started to gather on the pier, Pier 60 to be exact. And hundreds of people started clogging on this pier and they were filming us. Some people were crying. Older couples were just crying and and some people just decided they walked all the way down the pier came wow. walked right into the water some people from other countries we, they didn't even speak our language we had to get interpreters there and they said we want to get baptized we felt called to the water yeah you want to you know you talk about the the interesting part of this thing is is when you said you know nature actually got involved there were some of the animals there were some people that were there were some things that were also kind of involved in this whole thing yeah, it was really amazing what we saw all of creation kind of celebrating with us as we began to baptize. We were able to capture on video hundreds and hundreds of birds circling around just the baptisms, not anywhere down the left side of the beach or the right, just by us. And wow. right behind us, you would see dolphins jumping out of the water while people went in the water and came up. Dolphins jumping and birds and fish jumping out of the water. And it was absolutely amazing to see. Yeah, it's amazing because you say that you actually started in 2018. You were singing on your Facebook page, right? You tell your story and essentially yeah. you say, listen, I go back and and uh, I was a homeless person. I was I had a bit of a drug problem. I was a, a self-cutting Wiccan, if I'm if I'm accurate on that. And then you start singing yeah. on Facebook and you you have become this this brand new person. Yeah, and I give all praise to God because that's what the world is looking for right now is hope and a future. They can't find it in drugs. They can't find it in other things. And so they can find it in Jesus. And he literally turned my life around. I was living mm -hmm. in people's backyards on the streets. And so it is just a blessing to be a part of what God is doing, especially in yeah. Clearwater, Florida and Tampa area. Yeah, I, I know your book is called Sound of Freedom. Give me your, what's your message, Jenny? I mean, what, what's the takeaway? What did you tell the people who were baptized as they left you and they hugged you and they, what did you tell them? We told them that when they get baptized, they go into the water, that all the sin, all the, the strongholds, all those things holding them back in life, that that's going to be left in the water because Jesus has made them whole and new again. And people from all over are able to celebrate newness in life because of Jesus Christ. If he did it for me, he can do it for anyone. And so we just, we just yeah. our message is Jesus is the way. Uh, Jenny Weaver, great to have you on the show. We b wish you the best of luck and thank you. Thank you so much. Now, I wanted to share that with you guys because that's big. And the reason that's big is because national news typically does not promote the name of Jesus. But they gave this sister in Christ a platform to give God the glory and to show 
his amazing power of what he is doing behind the scenes. This does not happen. This is what you would call a miracle. So um, this is just a small piece of it. I'm going to attach on the description box the behind the scenes. And once again, it's going to be Jenny Weaver from her channel um, speaking about how this interview even happened. It is truly an amazing story. It's going to blow your mind once you find out um, how this, how everything unfolded. And she truly had no clue that this was the type of interview that it was going to turn out to be. So amazing testimony, amazing ministry. Check her channel out. Check her ministry out. Because at the end of the day, it's about kingdom building. And it's about people moving and being available for God. So once again, check her out. Everything will be on the description box. Be blessed. Be lifted by the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Peace out.